Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. The drug policy expert who's spent years on the front lines says the war on drugs has failed and it's time to legalize illicit drugs. Then we can focus on problematic substance use and issues like dependency and addiction. If we were to just legalize these substances and put our resources to helping people who develop problems with them, we'd waste less money and have much better outcomes. Opiates are killing us at a faster rate than ever. In fact, right now, more Canadians are dying than at the height of the AIDS crisis. The current opiate crisis is different because of the extremely toxic drug supply, and that enforcement efforts are to blame. Our drug policy has created this phenomenon called fentanyl. Fentanyl is a very powerful opiate. It's in the drug supply because it's highly concentrated and easy to get across borders and extremely lucrative to sell. Easier access to treatment should be the priority. Scientific research shows drug substitution like methadone or suboxone is the most effective treatment for opiate use. Those medications reduce your risk of death and are the best bet for long-term abstinence. But we also need to come to grips with the fact that drug prohibition itself is at the end of its road. It's failed. So we have to start looking at allowing people to have access to a safer drug supply. We'd do it with food if the food was toxic. We'd do it with water if the water was toxic. The drug supply is toxic and it's killing people. Picture this. You're an injection drug user. And you're worried the next time you use. You might die. So you head for the shepherds of good hope where there's a special trailer. There you can use your drugs and someone will save you if you overdose. Upon arrival, though there's a police cruiser outside, apparently it's there a lot, at least according to Ottawa Inner City Health, which runs the injection site, and officers are questioning staff and clients. And so you turn around, you take your chances injecting elsewhere, to avoid being harassed by police. Maybe you'll overdose and there will be nobody to save you. So it goes. With between 130 and 170 people actually using the injection trailer daily, it's got to be asked, how many are not showing up because they're afraid of the police? And yet this situation is a dangerous one. If injection sites are providing life-saving medical care, and they are, then anything that keeps people away risks indirectly causing death. This isn't actually complicated. It's worrisome if local cops can't follow along. And so, a solution is it's time that drugs, all drugs are decriminalized, then legalized and sold like alcohol or tobacco or soon marijuana. Decriminalization would remove criminal penalties for drug use legalization would allow regulated use and sale. The arguments in favor of pot legalization apply to other drugs too, including improved quality, the end of the black market as well as a reduction in crime, desperation and overdoses. It's also the right thing to do. It's up to each of us to decide how we treat our bodies. Humane drug policy relies too much on police acquiescence. A safe injection site only works if police abide by a gentleman's agreement to not arrest or harangue people coming in and out. Apparently it worked fine for the first little while that the site was open. But something has gone wrong by the fear of a no-go zone where cops can't arrest drug dealers and users smash and grab everything they can to finance their habit. Such a no-go zone does not exist in Ottawa says the police force. The evidence that crime goes up around injection sites is weak at best. 
But that certainly hasn't stopped the promulgation of this fear. If police aren't going to play ball with supervised injection which has the potential to save some of the hundreds and hundreds of people who died from fentanyl overdoses in Canada last year then it's time police are removed from this equation as much as possible. Decriminalization and legalization would kill many birds with one stone. Fentanyl expected in a majority of all opiate-related deaths. This is not a problem that policing can fix. It make it worse. Police do by keeping people away from injection sites. If drugs are regulated then they are safer. If they are bought in stores it eliminates seedy areas or dealers. If drug use isn't criminalized and the stigma goes down it becomes easier to get people into treatment. If they want to. Even if the police think they aren't responsible here. That doesn't make it so the consequences even if unintentional require the police to do a serious ray think about how theater policing near injection sites. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.